Uh, yeah, you can talk to her oh, about it. Well, I have got to go. I thank you. I've got to Just go. Just give him a Well, I get this stuff for a second. I can taste it. Morning. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Good. All right. So we've got more fun hog. What's going on, man? How you doing, bud? Good. How you been? Doing well. Is this a good game? Um, I haven't seen that one, but anytime I see those for that price, I get them. <laughs> I was thinking about it too. If you see specialized ones like Marines or Batman, uh, yeah, there's some serious potential there. Uh, that's five. I don't think that's ever been opened. I sold a sealed Batman one one time for like 120 oh. or just something. Stupid. The people collect them. Wow. Was with it being a yeah, I mean, thing. it's hard to go wrong for a dollar, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, right, there you go, making Jumping units. Now, that's a Muga. Oh, yeah, making units great again. I don't even know what that is. How you been? Good, man. I'm staying busy. Kind of sad the season's winding down, especially since it was short to begin with. You know about these? Yeah. You know about the year? I heard. Um, so turn them upside down, and this is going to be the month, and that's the year. So this is February 1975. All right. Problem is, there's a lot of rust on it. I was at a garage sale. What was it? Two weekends ago. Oh yeah. And this guy was talking about old Coleman, um, the actual coolers. Yeah. And this lady had a diamond one from 1963. And he and I was like listening in because mm -hmm. you know I kind of listen what you could you buy that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I was like, I started looking at it. I was like, this thing's worth like four or five hundred bucks. No kidding. <laughs> you wow. bought it for like three dollars. <laughs> Cohen oh. stuff's good, man. I was like, okay, add that to the checklist. Yeah, no kidding. What to look out for. The uh, last weekend on the side of the road. Oh, yeah? There's a Bobby Einstein, kind of like an airplane thing. Uh huh. It said free on someone's curve. Someone sells it on eBay for like 80, 100 bucks. Jeez. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Oh, good eye. I missed it. I was about to grab it. And... That's a really good eye. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll put it back. Thanks. Yeah, I'll look. I even looked, too. <laughs> I know. I, I picked it up and 
start to walk away and I looked at it a little bit more and I was like, nah, I don't know if I can do this one. Yep. For two bucks, but still. Right. Four holes set. I owe you a dollar for your jacket here. I didn't okay. see the price on your pot. Uh, he's Those got a nice dollar price. on yellow. Dollar on yellow. Are these yours? No. Is that our pot? Whose pot is that? I think, it? oh, this is Sandy's. Dollar. What do you think on for this pot? cost? Oh, I don't know. What I, are you thinking? I'd do a buck. That's fine. You do a dollar? Yeah, so I'm at two dollars. Do a dollar. Would you do five on the uh, lantern? If that's sufficient. I don't, I don't know. Whatever you want. Yeah. I don't do a dollar on yellow. Yep. And then he's asking about something else. I wonder if you do five on your lantern. How about seven on the lantern? Sure. So you're $9. $7 for that. I don't know who's coat sure is who's coat is. On I think it's sand. It it's it, yellow. It was yellow. Yeah, well, it had yellow on it. There you go. There's nine. $9. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck at the sale. Thank you. Appreciate it. Morning. How much is your GPS? You know what? Let me get in. One second, I'll get your price on. Okay, no rush. Mark. Oh, I gotta get going. This one right here. Oh, yeah, that one. Uh, you're leaving. Okay. Um, I think that's the new one. Yeah. Uh, that one, I have to have at least 45 bucks. Forty-five. Yeah, okay. it's two hundred and two hundred and thirty dollars. I bought it refurbished. Mm -hmm. and I paid like ninety bucks. Gave it to my son last year for Christmas, and uh, he wanted one that uh, communicated back and forth, did all kinds of stuff. Well, I wasn't going to spend close to four hundred dollars on. Sure. That. Yeah, I understand. So yeah. It's not, you know, one of these little junky things you buy in sure. the stores. How much is your bat? Uh, I don't think there's anything real particular about it, is there? Some of them we had were signed. Okay. Um, no way. Um, where's this, uh? I I would I would put uh, like six bucks on it. Six bucks. Yeah. How about four bucks? So. All right. Would you make a deal if I bought all your patches? Uh, yeah, you can talk to her oh, about it. I'm, Um, what were you looking at? I'm There's the money you. on your... Okay. What would you do if I bought them all? What would be your best price? Just the patches only? Yeah, just the patches. Not the metals. Yeah. 
account. Yeah. Okay, are you including the ones that aren't military? Just, yeah, just all the patches okay. right here, yep. None are of the you, medals or anything. Are you, are you including the, the military ones is what he's asking? Yeah, well, yep, I mean, all the patches. No, I just mean, I meant like some, we had a couple of that were fishing. We had like three He's talking all the patches, Mark. He's I know, talking. I just wanted to make sure he, he okay. wanted those as well. I, I just, off the top of my head, at two bucks each, and I didn't count them all, there's close to $50 worth. Okay. What were you thinking? How about 40 bucks for all of them? Sounds good to me. All right, thank you. Okay, I'm going to let you pay him because I don't mean to be a... But I was supposed to leave 15 minutes ago. Oh, no. I am not one to be... There you go. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you, yeah, you got a good deal on them. Yeah, you got a grocery bag by chance? Uh... Mark, your GPS needs to be priced. It's still in here. Yeah, it's still here. No, no. Okay. He's asking 45 for it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm upset. I... Don't mean to draw a watch out. But uh, I thought, well, you know, I cut watches. Yeah. And I had a, I don't know if you ever heard of a space o -matic. You could see through them. I had a tuning fork. No kidding. Yeah, from the 1950s. And uh, I had, I mean, I paid, I think, like 275 for it a few years ago. I had 350 bucks on it. No more than a half hour after I put it in, somebody walked away with it. Oh no. Yeah. That's awful. I mean, I just don't understand people. Yeah, me neither. They're kind of cool watches. Which killed, but <laughs> I was I could, I, I have so many watches, she keeps saying, I'll get rid of them, get rid of them. Right. Well, you know, I'm pretty darn common to pay, you know, one to three, four thousand dollars for a watch. So I threw that one in, that was one of the cheapest ones I had. Well, that just killed that idea. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it's not your fault, you know what, I thought I'd be honest with you. I can't believe I was that stupid. <laughs> you know? There's some horrible people out there. Here, I can get one end of this. There you go. Just, just got out of an accident four days ago. Oh, no. Just got out of the hospital yesterday. Oh, jeez. Some lady ran me up here at the strip. Oh, God. 60 miles an hour and totaled the truck out. Wow. Well, I hope your luck gets better. <laughs> it's not getting there. <laughs> I enjoy watching your YouTube. Oh, thanks, man. What's your yeah. name? Chase. Chase. Nice yeah. to meet you, bud. I saw you at the uh, other one. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I saw you here. I was like, man, that's awesome. Did you buy those golf clubs? Yeah. Did I, you? I just won the bag. The bag's pretty Oh, cool. yeah. I coach baseball at Wright State. Oh, do you? Yeah. So awesome, like, man. Right now, there's a hiring freeze, so I'm not making much money, so I'm doing the, the reselling. Yeah, man. Do the hustle. Bit, so. All right. Yeah. Good to meet you, Chase. I good it. luck to you, bud. Yeah, you too. How you doing?
How much are these? Twenty for the four. Yeah. Okay, I'll buy them. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'm back from the garage sales, and even though I didn't find a ton of stuff, I am really happy with what I did find. At the first sale of the day, I got this uh, Miramatic 6 pressure cooker. I believe it had like some kind of gauge or dial on top here at some point. Um, I paid a dollar for this, and it should sell around 20, maybe 25 bucks. I also got this Levi jacket at that sale for a dollar. It is, let's see here, Levi Strauss signature. I don't think it's vintage or anything like that. Um, it's a ladies jacket, but for a dollar, it's hard to pass up a good Levi denim jacket. That might be worth 15, 20 bucks. I also picked up this Coleman cooler at that sale. This is the one I was showing to my buddy John. Um, they're asking 10 for it. Had some rust to it, unfortunately, but the globe's still there. For the most part, it's in pretty good condition. Um, I was showing him the uh, date stamp on the bottom of these. If you guys don't know this, every Coleman cooler and some of their other products, too, have the uh, date stamp on the bottom. might be kind of hard to see, but on the left side, there's a 2. That's the month, so it was made in February, and then the right side is the year, 75. So it's February of 1975. I ended up getting this for $7, and I think in its current condition, it's worth $25, $30, something like that, but I really don't want to ship it and risk breaking this thing, so I'm going to put this in my antique booth, and I think it'll do well there. At one sale, they had a ton of patches. Um, I bet you there's at least 60 or 70 of them in here, and they had them priced at $3 a patch which is pretty high for a garage sale, to be honest. Um, I think there's some decent ones in here. There's a lot of military, and then there's just some random ones, too. Like, here's U.S. Air Forces in Europe, North American Fishing Club patch. Uh, let's see here. McDonnell Douglas Phantom 2. Just a good variety. Like, there's some really cool military patches in here. Some of them I'm going to have to... Maybe try to do some research and figure out what they are, the ones that don't have any kind of letters or anything on here. But there's a good variety, and I, I you know, I made an offer for all of them for 40 bucks, and they took it, and I think once all these are sold and done with, it'll be uh, a few hundred dollars worth of profit. I like selling patches. Uh, they're small, easy to work with, especially this lot, because uh, there's a lot of multiples. So I can do one listing for a lot of these and sell, you know, three or four of the same one over time and it just makes the work a little bit easier. So I'm pretty excited about that find. These right here though, were definitely my best find of the day. These are old uh, coin operated timers. Uh, you'd stick a quarter in here and uh, wind it and it would keep time for, you know, just a wide variety of things. I think they were maybe parking meters uh, at some point, maybe for uh, washing machines or something. I really don't know to be totally honest with you, but they are very cool. I got two of them uh in full working condition with the keys and everything um and then these two are just kind of like the mechanics actually so these are just like the top parts of them i paid twenty dollars for all four um these two here i think for, will go for about 60 to 70 dollars each these maybe only 20 to 30 i'm probably just gonna have to list these maybe around 30 40 dollars with best offer uh, just take what I can get for them, but I'm really excited about those. I almost forgot, the sale where I bought all those patches, I also bought this bat. It is definitely old. I'm not sure just how old it is. If I had to guess, I'd say 30s or 40s. It's by the AJ Reach Company. I've never seen this model. Um, I paid 4 bucks for it. I think I should be able to get at least 40 or 50 bucks. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.